Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through the basics of using animation layers in Maya. Animation layers are great for organizing your animations and creating dynamic layers within your animation so that you can create more robust animations and add some life to your character. So to start with, we're going to have this basic running animation. This is a sphere head. Uh, the name of the model which you'll be able to download in the description to this video. This is a very basic animation. Um, it just has the armature, no control rig or anything, but this is a great place to start uh, for illustrating just how powerful uh, these animation layers uh, can be when working with animation in Maya. So we have our basic running animation and let's say we wanted to uh, animate the arms of our character while keeping this running loop going. Uh, maybe our character is waving as he's running or holding their head, uh, any, anything. You can get creative with this. So we have this basic running animation to start with. Uh, before we get too deep into anything, it's a good idea to make sure that you're in the animation workspace. Um, we have our timeline right here, and then we're also going to be working with the graph editor uh, just to change some of the basic animations. I'm working all from one screen, but it might behoove you if you have dual monitors to take the graph editor and move it over onto another monitor uh, so that you can have a sort of split screen thing going on. Um, but just to basic basically illustrate this uh, the concept of animation layers to you. I'll keep this window closed so we can just see what's going on with the character for most of the video. So to start we're going to want to select our character. Um, we're, ma we're making sure that we're already in animation workspace. And let's stop this animation for a second. So we're going to want to make this character's arms wave. So to do that, we'll go from the hips, which is the base, the root, and then we'll reveal the left shoulder and right shoulder, which are uh, the two bones that we want to animate the rotation of. And so in order to do this, we can select the left shoulder and then all the bones within its hierarchy um, up to forearm. And then move over to our layers inspector and go to the animation tab. And then we can click on layers. Oops. We can click on layers and within this pullout menu, we can select create override layer from selected. So this will give us a new animation layer, two animation layers actually, our base animation and then animation layer one, which we can change to left arm. And now we can go about animating the character so that they're waving. Select the left shoulder and raise it up a little and then maybe raise up the left arm. So this is just basic animation. Uh, you can change this around. Um, feel free to get creative with it. So now we can see that with this left arm animation layer, animation override layer, 
that our character is now locking that uh, arm animation to the the left shoulder, the left arm, and the left forearm. And here we have some controls. We can mute the layer and see that it returns to the same point. We see this little jitter in the hand though. We can unmute it. And we can also have a solo layer, which will always uh, play the bass animation along with it. So it's not of interest to us. Here I see the, the hand sort of jiggling. So I'm gonna take it back a step and make sure that I'm just doing my keyframes correctly. All right, so now when we press play, we can see that the character's left arm is frozen. And when we mute the left arm, uh, it will go back to its normal base animation. And you can e easily see how this just helps us with the overall organization of our character. Uh, this can work when animating for uh, video, uh, VFX, uh, I could see this coming in handy when animating for uh, video games. Let's say your character is holding something or uh, they're wounded in a certain part of their, their mesh. Um, there's all sorts of use cases for this animation layer. So now we're going to go ahead and animate both the left and right arms using these animation override layers. And now we can create a new override layer for the right arm. And we'll name this right arm. And we can go about animating it. Uh, you can either copy these frames over from the graph editor, but I wanna create a more dynamic animation. So I'm just going to uh, keyframe them on their own. So that's the basics of using the override mode in animation layers. And you could see that uh, it creates a really organized means for us to just take our character and add in a custom animation to an already looping animation. This can come in handy uh, like in this animation where we have our character waving their arms as they're running. So there's multiple different modes. There's an additive mode there's this override mode. The additive mode will uh, actually overlay the, the two animations on top of each other. So they'll sort of be fighting for, uh, I guess, the, the, the main animation. So if you already have an underlying animation in your base animation, it could look really choppy. Uh, we could see when we mute these animations that we're back to our base animation and we're also given control over the weight and this is the amount that the animation actually comes into effect um, and this gives us a lot of control over the animation since these are override versions uh, they aren't creating that jittery look that you'll have uh, when you 
try to animate over something that already has keyframes. And that was a basic walkthrough of working with animation layers in Maya.